Hello, happy Tuesday. I'm gonna be doing my Instagram Live today a little bit earlier than noon. Um, I have a meeting actually in about seven minutes, so this is gonna be, uh, you know, kind of a brief one. Yesterday was like 30 minutes long, so this one's not gonna be 30 minutes long. Uh, it's gonna be much shorter. But if you didn't get a chance to watch my Instagram Live video from yesterday, I'm doing a seven day video challenge that my, um, coach assigned to me. And so every day for the next week, I'm going to be coming on here and talking about uh, a variety of different things, depending on what the prompt is. Yesterday was, who am I? Today is um, talk about what the single greatest lesson is I learned from my parents, which is such a loaded question for me to answer, but I'm totally game for it. Um, I'm, I'm really practicing just going live, uh, not having any kind of you know, script right now or any idea of like what I'm going to talk about, just like reading what the video is supposed to be about and then getting on live. So it's really challenging me this week to show up, to commit to it, to show up and do it. Um, and yeah, just get more comfortable going live. And so I hope you guys are having a great week so far. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into my response to this. So the question is, what is the single greatest lesson that your parents taught you? And just to give you a little bit of background, so my parents uh, met and my parents were really young when they had me. So my mom was 20 and I think my dad was like 22, super young. And they got married after I was born, tried to make it work. It wasn't ever gonna be a thing, it wasn't gonna work. And so they got divorced, I think within a year of getting married. And so my entire life, I they shared custody of me. And so um, I would go back and forth. Uh, I mean, those are the, I don't have any memories of my parents together. I always remember going back and forth. Um, my mom had custody majority at the time. My dad kind of got like weekends and holidays and that kind of stuff. And, um, at, at one point my dad actually moved to Utah and I lived on the East coast with my mom. So the amount that I got to see my dad growing up was actually not a lot. I would only see him, um, maybe every other Christmas and then for like periods of time during the summer. And so um, growing up, I really, really, really wanted more of a relationship with my dad. Like I, I had a really toxic um, family on my mom's side. And so growing up in my mom's household was really challenging for me. Uh, there was lots of physical and emotional abuse. Um, just, it was just a really bad situation. And so growing up, I always wanted to be with my dad because in my mind, especially as a young child, it was like, oh, the other side just has to be better, right? Like anything has to be better than this. And growing up, I always wanted to live with my dad. It was just something like I always wanted because my home life with my mom was so bad and so toxic. And so um, to get right to it, the single greatest lesson I've learned from both my parents, and I say this with so much loving kindness, is I learned from them how not to parent. Um, I learned that I need to parent my children completely differently. I am learning... And this is something that I'm actually learning as I become a parent, as I am um, raising my children. But the greatest lesson I, I learned from them were all the things I shouldn't do, right? So I was told not to cry. Crying is bad. Um, crying is weak. I was told, um, I was, there were constantly like comments made about my body, like I was too big or I was fat or I was eating too much. So I always had a lot of insecurity about food um, and like the way that I looked. Um, I was always put in the middle of my parents. So like they would both talk to me even at a very young age, like very poorly about each other and kind of put me in the middle and would use me as like a pawn to get back at each other. Um, those are just some things that come off, off the top of my head, but those are all things that I refuse to do moving forward with my own family, with my own children. And so, um, an example is like, I, I really, don't ever try to shut down my kids when they're feeling their feelings. So when my toddlers are having a tantrum or they're really upset over something that seems like it probably shouldn't be a big deal, like the single worst thing in my opinion you can say to a child is like, it's fine, you're fine, everything's fine, it's okay. It is the most triggering thing to me when I hear someone say that, especially if they say it to my child and I will correct them, like, no, they're not fine. Like clearly there is an issue here. And it's okay if we don't understand it or we don't agree with it. There's an issue that we need to talk through. We need to love them through. Um, so that's an example of something that I'm doing differently. 
Uh, food is, there's no bad or good foods here. Um, I, I choose to fill our cabinets and our fridge with food that's nourishing for my children. So I don't ever have to worry about them picking up food that they shouldn't be eating because they wouldn't have it. I wouldn't have it in the house if they shouldn't be eating it. Um, I never make them feel bad about eating two ice creams or, um, you know, if they should eat this or they should not. I've never made comments about their body and I don't ever plan to. Um, so that's another example of like, you know, things I'm doing differently. And then the fact that, you know, their dad and I are not together and, uh, we'll never be together. And I am never going to put them, both of us have said, we are never going to put them uh, in the middle of that situation. So how I feel about their dad and our relationship, our friendship moving forward is going to be completely removed from, um, the situation with them. And we're just both gonna, we are both dedicated to co-parenting our children and loving them and being there for them and showing up for them as best we can. And also being mature adults who can interact with each other, um, and have a relationship that is totally focused on taking care of them. So single greatest lesson I've learned from my own parents is how not to be and how I want to break a lot of the generational trauma and um, you know toxic uh, childhood that I had and make it totally different for my, my kids and, and recreate new memories, especially with the holidays um, that are loving and meaningful. So super short video today. Um, if you missed the beginning, I'm about to post it so you guys can watch it later, but thank you so much for jumping on here. And, um, if you have any, uh, thoughts on like, what are some lessons your parents, uh, taught you? I would love for you to drop it in the comments. So, um, love you all. Mwah. Hope you're having a great day and I will see you again tomorrow.